Okay, now the reason I have placed this phone in landscape mode is because I want to show you guys a video clip of a mobile wala bhai who has again released another video on One UI 7.0. I'm not very sure how did he get his hands on on a device, the S24 Ultra, running on One UI 7.0 based on Android 15. That is really surprising. But uh, anyways, this is great to see him sharing all these details on his YouTube channel. We have already seen some of the features which he showcased in his previous video. And in this video, I wanted to talk about some more features, some more changes that he has shared in his latest video. Of course, you guys can go ahead and check out his video, but that is in Hindi. And for the global audience, you may not be able to understand that. So uh, let me just uh, briefly tell you what has changed and what more we got to know about One UI 7.0. Now we have already seen all these new widgets that were showcased. Uh, we can see these widgets are not exactly in rectangle. The corners are more rounded now. And we've got this weather widget and all brand new icons we have got. And we also saw this menu button right here at the bottom for the camera and a few more options right here on the top. And he also showcased the widget menu now, as you can see, this is the widget menu that we have got. Let me just pause this video here. You can see device care widget, which looks refreshing. This has got new icon and new bars here. And we've got weather widget here. And again, device care widget here. And we also have modes and routines widget here, which looks a little wider now. And you can also see the secure Wi-Fi widget right here. And we've got images and stories widget, which is brand new here. I'm sure there'll be many more new widgets which would be added on One UI 7. For now, we can see all these new widgets which have been showcased in this video here. Now here you can see this is the wallpaper and style menu and I don't see uh, much of a change here. We've got change wallpaper option, color palette option and uh, dim wallpaper when dark mode is on. All those options are right here and there is no new additions on this menu. And here on the wallpaper customization menu, you can see the clock has been moved to the uh, bottom left here. Moving this clock anywhere on the lock screen was only possible using the Lockstar module where we could customize these clocks on the Lockstar. But it looks like now that feature has been made available by default on One UI 7. We don't really need Lockstar to move this clock around wherever we want on the lock screen. Now, if you didn't know, uh, when we customize the uh, clock on the lock screen, we can only move the clock on the top portion of the screen on the lock screen. We cannot move it to the bottom. We have to use Lockstar module to move it anywhere we want or place it anywhere we want. But here you can see he has showcased this clock here on the left hand side bottom and uh, that can also be moved. You can see he's moving that uh, clock to the uh, top left and uh, we can see we have got other options here. We can customize the shortcuts here at the bottom uh, which are in circular shape and we also have these. You can see we have got the effect option, frame option and we have got gallery option from where we can again choose a different wallpaper which is fantastic. Now the best part is quick panel customization. Now here showcased how we can customize the quick panel. And to customize this, we need to tap on this pencil icon on the top right. And that allows us to move these uh, toggles or move these panels around. You can see he's just pressing and holding on it and moving it to the bottom. Likewise, you can move these quick panels anywhere that you want which is pretty cool. Now I'm not sure whether we can resize these toggles. We have got that edit uh, button right here in the middle and we should be able to resize that as well by tapping on the edit button. But he has not gone ahead and shown this edit option right here. So uh, let's hope that we can uh, you know, resize these uh, quick panels as well with the upcoming beta. Now you can see, we also have a couple of additional settings here. This is very important to know. Samsung has segregated the quick panel and the notification panel completely. Now we can pull down from the right to open the quick panel and pull down the notification panel from the left side corner like we do it on the iOS. But here on One UI 7, we have got both the options. We can either pull it together. As you can see, we've got this together option right here, or we can separately pull these notification panels and uh, quick panel by swiping from the left side or from the right side uh, corner on the screen, on the top of the screen. And if you select together, you will be able to swipe down anywhere you want from the top to access both quick panel and notification panel like how we do it on the One UI 6.1. So that's a new option that we've got on One UI 7. Now you see he pulls down the uh, notification panel here and this is how the notification panel looks. It's all about pills. We have got this pill shaped background here and the transparency on this notification panel is also pretty cool. And uh, of course, we will be able to customize it further using good lock. But for now, this is the kind of transparent background that we get on One UI 7. And you can also see the recents menu option here. It's a different panel now we have got, uh, the recents uh, screen that we have got. And it actually looks pretty cool. And even the animation is actually pretty good here on the uh, recents menu. And of course, we also saw this search bar at the bottom. We'll be able to easily access the search bar using one hand. We don't really have to go to the top to reach the search bar to search for the applications. Now, this is a big change that we have got on the app tray, which we have already discussed. 
Now, these are some new changes, new features that we have got on One UI 7. And thanks to this guy, Mobilewala Bhai, for uh, you know releasing this video and showcasing all these features. As soon as we get the official beta, I will keep you guys posted about all the new features. We will deep dive into all this. We will see what additional features that we have got. I'm sure there are tons of features on this version of One UI, which he hasn't showcased. Maybe in the future videos, he will show that. But I'm just waiting for the official version, official beta for One UI. I will keep you guys posted. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.